okay for this video we create a closed track switch the top view there we go just stick out the points right click to finish adding points drag out the pink controls got it wrong switch it round click on the next point and drag it out do the same thing got a nice loop switch it round there you go that's better just modify that one slightly not so sharp move that over yep that's it drag that out the further you drag them the the larger the curve or less sharp I should say just move that point Another point move that one so I'll switch that out there you go oh it's going away oh, I can twist it as well okay there we go so Select the point at the top so you can actually see it inside the track. Move it up and down. Close the track. Got the loop in. Zoom in and out. Look like there we go. Let's do that point. So it's best to select them in the top view. So you know exactly. Ah, now there's a problem there. See, I accidentally picked up the the pink point. So if you control Z to undo that, and then use the other side view. Okay, let's just switch to the 3D view only and drive around. And there you go, the camera fire around. You can see it's risen up, a nice track. Okay, and you've got flying over as well, fly over the track, helicopter view. And just switch back to walks. Oh, let's add some terrain, add to the whole track. Um, both sides, uh, we'll have two panels of 10 miniatures each, and just uh, we won't change it. Click create. There you go, then you've got the size of the track. Now it's nice and easy. So let's get a look at that. Okay, you just hold shift and the left mouse button to to move around in that view, to pan it, um, and then right click and shift to to rotate the view, and there we go, drive around it. Looking good. Here it comes the flying animation. There you go.